if you've ever looked at a laptop as an alternative to a desktop, then you'll have noticed that when it comes to gaming, many of the actual benefits of the laptop end up taking a back seat. They're chunky, heavy, sound like a jet engine and have a battery that barely lasts an hour, even just browsing the web. And let's not mention the size of the power brick. All in, not very good if you actually want to carry it round and use it all day for normal tasks. However, there's now a solution for gamers who want a thin and light laptop and the ability to run the latest games with the highest graphics settings. Meet the Razer Core X Chroma. Essentially, it's a separate enclosure for a desktop graphics card. If you have a laptop with the latest USB-C Thunderbolt port, which is most of the latest ones, then you can use your laptop all day for normal tasks, and then when you get home, plug it into the Core X Chroma for full power gaming. There's also extra connectivity built in too, so you can have permanently wired internet, a keyboard, mouse, and a monitor, or three, plugged in permanently at your desk. You can even attach storage via one of the four extra USB ports to store games that you'd only play at your desk, saving vital space on your laptop hard drive. Then with just one Thunderbolt cable connected to your laptop, everything syncs up in a couple of seconds and you're ready to go with a full desktop experience. So the next question is, how well does this setup perform? Well, let's take a look. We tested with Razer's own Blade 13-inch laptop. It's ultra-thin and light and features an 8th gen Intel Core i7-8565U CPU, so it's more than powerful enough for demanding tasks. In our Core X Chroma, we installed the current GPU king of the hill, the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. Might as well go all out, right? We compared three configurations, the laptop on its own using its built-in MX150 graphics processor, then the laptop connected to the Core X Chroma, and lastly, for a benchmark, a desktop PC featuring an i9-9900K and RCX 2080 Ti. First up is Apex Legends. As expected, the laptop on its own struggled to provide playable frame rates. 1080p was out of the question, even using the low setting, scoring just 19 frames per second. Reducing the resolution to 1360 by 768 with low settings did give us an average of 51 frames per second though. Once we had the Core X Chroma with its RTX 2080 Ti on board, this dramatically changes. In 1080p, we can now max out the settings and still achieve an average of 118 frames per second. This compares pretty well to our desktop PC, which managed 144 frames per second with its beefier CPU. Next, we tried Metro Exodus. As a relatively new AAA title, this was not playable at any settings for the laptop on its own. Once hooked up to the Core X Chroma, we started with 1080p and the Ultra preset. This resulted in 122 frames per second for the laptop versus 127 for the desktop. Adding in the RTX option and Nvidia's DLSS saw a slight drop down to 107 FPS for the laptop and 114 for the desktop. Lastly, we went all out with 4K, plus the RTX and DLSS settings on. The laptop scored a very respectable 85 frames per second versus the desktop at 92. So there you have it. You can have an ultra thin and light laptop and a gaming desktop without having to buy both. You can check out the Core X Chroma on the SCAN website, along with a range of Thunderbolt enabled laptops like this one from Razer. If you like this video, then hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when we post our next one.